Obviously, we came out of the gates um, as best we could, I thought. On both ends of the floor, we were really defending and rebounding and sharing the ball and uh, making shots. You know, when you make shots, um, it just seems a little bit easier. And then second half, uh, we just didn't handle it very well. Uh, a lot of my fault. I was subbing erratically and uh, just got caught up and worrying about the seniors and all that and uh, certainly uh, made a mistake that way. And I'll, I'll put that on me. But uh, overall, um, I thought we played pretty well. Eli, you know, played through, I don't know how injured he was or how is he, how is he but I thought he played well for, for the last home game. Yeah, I was happy for him. I was a little nervous uh, leading up to the game if, if he was going to play. You know, originally we thought you know, we didn't take him on the trip, and then we thought when we got back that, that he was going to be much better, and unfortunately he wasn't. You know, and then um, I kept rehabbing it. And then uh, on Thursday, he started um, getting back in, into real practice, Thursday and Friday, but uh, never really went full speed, you know. And uh, so I was a little nervous. Uh, I was hopeful that, you know, the adrenaline, et cetera, would kick in on game night. And it wasn't, he doesn't have anything that, you know, if he plays, it's going to hurt worse. It's just kind of a pain tolerance deal and a comfort level deal. And um, so hopefully this will help him moving forward to next week to know that, hey, I can play with this. And no one knows the pain except for him. But uh, I agree. I, I thought he played pretty well. Uh, we got a little shoddy, you know, in the second half with our defensive rebounding, et cetera. But uh, I thought he played pretty well overall. How important was this specific matchup finishing? It's almost like coming full circle from where you guys started conference play. You know, I think it was more important for our players um, than it was for me or my staff. I mean, we prepare for every game very similar. Um, but I could tell and, and heard a little bit of a chatter amongst them that, um, you know, that was on their mind. You know, that didn't sit well with them. And um, I like it. You know, I like the fact that that was extra motivation. But for me, it was more about, you know, momentum and, and finishing the season strong and playing well and, you know, just getting better. But certainly, I think from a player perspective, um, they were pretty amped up. And uh, I thought, you know, you could tell by their play when they got out of the gates. Was number zero uh, a focus? I mean, he had 36 the first time. I think he was with 15 or something. Yeah, you know, somewhat, but it wasn't just about him. We got a lot of respect for their, their players. I mean, Heading is having a terrific conference season and a little bit overshadowed um, by zero because of ex his explosive games that he has. But stat-wise, they're very similar. I mean, Heading averages two points less than whack play and shoots at a much better clip than the other kids. So, um, you know, we were focused on, on both of them. And then, you know, I just think, I think they're a good basketball team. I think they're a good basketball team. Um, I think they had a successful inaugural wax season um, by all the standards that are out there, and I think they're going to be a reckon with going forward. What's your, uh, or do you know your schedule? I guess I think you guys leave on Tuesday. I just have you thought about it? <laughs> no, we uh, we actually get them off tomorrow. Practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning, and then uh, we leave then. Okay. Uh, we leave Wednesday and just get there a day before, and we fly earlier enough. They'll have plenty of time to get situated. And I like the fact that we can practice here. We can't get on the Orleans floor anyway the day before the game, so uh, we're gonna have to practice here or somewhere in Las Vegas. And I'd rather just get it over with, get that rest for the noon game, and have it done in the morning. So that's what we chose to do, and um, and then we'll get there and get, get ready for the game What's Thursday. Focus? Is it just rest and uh, or do you start getting ready for you know Chicago State individually? You know, um, that's a good question. You know, I haven't really got that far yet. Um, we'll start, you know, obviously, you know, not start, but continue watching video of, of all the games that are being played and try to pick up, you know, something here or there to be prepared for whomever, you know, we could play. And um, But I think, you know, Monday and, and probably most of Tuesday will be more about cleaning us up you know, and um, just being prepared for, for whatever, you know, the, the, those games uh, will serve up. But then certainly uh, Wednesday will be 100% for Chicago State. Are you playing as well as you could want to, I guess, after the, rest of, after the regular season? Playing pretty well. You know, I thought last week we made strides. I thought that road trip was really good. Um, we played pretty well. We got better, and, and we needed the week off because of our injury situation. And I thought um, even with the injuries that we got better this week. You know, we, we were pretty competitive in our practices. When, when uh, we get out of scout mode and go, 
you know, just NMSU versus NMSU with all the depth that we have. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. And, and they get after one another and, and they like to compete and they don't want to lose. And uh, when we do those drills, and I love that as a coach. And um, they, they were practicing harder this week um, and, and focused. And again, you know, the way they started that game, I, I mean, there's maybe a couple halves all year long that you can compare it to that, that we played all year long. So that feels good um, going forward. And again, um, the second half, I'm not one to say, oh, poo-poo it. But, um, you know, a lot of that was, was, was me. I mean, we subbed too much and, and radically. And in the last few minutes, I was so concerned about something that I shouldn't have been with getting those seniors out there and, and having a chance for them to be recognized um, by the fans. And I'll never do that again.